Hey what's up, welcome to another quick edit video. This time with an autumn forest image I want to work on. And for this photo I want to reduce the color cast and that means I'm going to remove a lot of those yellow color tones, restore a lot of details from the shadows and then let's also apply an, an autumn glow effect. For the editing I will be using the newest version of Adobe Photoshop and that means I will be editing the raw image in the camera raw editor instead of Lightroom. So before I start here are the before and after images. Alright here we are in camera raw so let's first go to the optics tab and activate those two settings real quick and back to the basic stuff. For the profile I'm going with Adobe Standard and this will already help boost the shadows a little bit. Then as said in the intro I want to get rid of this strongly yellow color cast. So I'm dropping the temperature which should fix that. Alright looks much better. Then I'm working on the shadows and since they are rather underexposed I'm increasing the exposure first. And I also increase the shadows. Now of course, especially in this area, the highlights are way overexposed and actually there isn't much I can do about that. I mean, I could create an HDR scene right here, but that's not of what I want. Instead, I'm simply dropping the highlights a little bit and let's leave it at that point. I don't think overexposure is bad in this case since it makes this whole scene a lot more realistic I think. Alright then I'm also increasing the dehaze. This will just add some more nice contrast. Okay and finally I want to boost the vibrance for some more saturated colors. Nice then let's do the local adjustments. And here I just have applied a gradiated filter for the foreground. Since I want the forest floor to be a little darker, I'm simply dropping the exposure. Also I'm dropping the saturation here. This way I want to reduce the chaos which is going on in the foreground. I actually don't want to affect those trees here. So I'm using the erase tool on this gradiated filter and just mask out the bottom of the trees. Then I also have applied the brush on those trees on each side. You can see this right here. And that's because I want to add some more texture to those trees and give them some more clarity. This will just make those trees a lot more detailed. And let's see, maybe I can also increase the exposure a bit. All right, that should be enough. Then I also make use of the tone curve. I want to change the blue channel a bit. And here I'm just giving those highlights a slight blue color cast by picking up this point and dragging it to the left. Of course, I only want to apply a subtle blue look, so I'm not overdoing it here. All right. Then for the color grading I want to change the saturation of a few colors here. So I'm dropping orange which is mainly affecting the floor of the forest. Then I'm increasing yellow and green. And I'm dropping aqua and blue. Alright nice and then I want to sharpen the image. And that's it for the raw editing. Then let's open it in Photoshop. First I want to clean up the foreground. So let's duplicate this layer and pick up the spot healing brush and zoom in a little bit and just get rid of a few things here. Okay nice, I think that's enough. Now I don't like the right side of the image since there's a lot of glow going on which I don't like in that place. So I'm going to crop the image and just try to get rid of this area. Okay. Then next I want to do some dodging and burning and for that reason I'm using the TK panel 
which allows me to create some layer masks. In this case, I'm duplicating that layer again. I want to boost the very bright highlights. Everything above 50% gray will be affected by this layer and I want to especially brighten up this area. So this seems to be the perfect layer mask. Here let's apply a layer mask and hit the second lights. And to apply the dodging and burning I'm creating a new layer and create a clipping layer by holding down the alt key and clicking between those two. Also I'm switching the blending mode to overlay and now I'm setting the foreground color to white and let's paint in over those light rays. All right, nice. Then I want to merge everything by selecting all those layers and hitting Ctrl E. And then let's check the Nick Collection plugin as well. Here I want to use the polarization effect to help enhance the color some more. You can see when I turn up the strength, we get this nice color in the foliage of the trees. That looks really cool. Then I'm checking the Nick Collection one more time. And here I want to apply a dreamy look using the classical soft focus filter. And I'm going with the first soft focus method here. Okay, that looks pretty nice, but of course around the sun this area got a lot more overexposed and I'm fixing that by creating a layer mask and grabbing the brush tool and simply brushing once or twice around this area. And then we are back to normal but we still have the glow around this area. Also, I could mask out the trees since I don't think they need the soft look. Something like this looks pretty nice. At this point, I want to stop the editing since I'm quite satisfied with this photo. So I hope this was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, then please feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.